Hello, boys and girls. We are working with quadrilateral, lesson 12. A quadrilateral is a plain figure that has four straight lines or a closed figure with four sides. There's one, two, three quadrilaterals I've been drawn here to show you the different looks of quadrilaterals. These are your sides. When they meet at the point, the point is called a vertex. So a vertex is, is the point at which two angles meet and, they, sorry, two uh, lines meet and they form an angle. From an angle. The angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So we're looking at these angles here in a quadrilateral. Each of these angles add up to 360 degrees. Previously we've learned that the angles around a point adds up to 360 degrees. So angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. We also learned that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and co-interior angles formed by straight by parallel lines add up to 180 degrees. So this is a second example where we have something adding up to 360 degrees, and that's angles in a quadrilateral, these angles here adding up to 360 degrees. So we'll be using that in calculations. Now let us focus on types of quadrilaterals. The types of quadrilaterals that we have, we have a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So these two sides are parallel and these two sides also parallel. Both pairs of opposite sides are equal. It's marked equal with a double stroke each and a single stroke there. And then we have both pairs of opposite angles equal. This angle is equal to this, one, this angle and these two angles are equal. Now if you're going down, in terms of properties of a parallelogram, Again, remember opposite sides, both pair opposite sides are parallel and equal, and opposite angles are equal. Now the next one is rhombus. A rhombus is a special parallelogram in that all sides are equal. So the, in terms of parallel, it's the same as the parallelogram. Note my color coding, green and blue. These two are the same. The yellow, all sides are equal. The rhombus is a smaller figure than the parallelogram in terms of the sides. All sides are equal. The properties of a rectangle is also, the rectangle is a specialized parallelogram. In terms of the sides being parallel and equal, it's the same. Opposite sides parallel, opposite sides equal, but the angles are 90 degrees. In this case, color coding, the blue has changed. The angles, each angle is now 90 degrees. So it's identical with respect to the parallelogram properties, except for the angles being 90 degrees. Now the properties of a square. It's a special parallelogram. All sides are equal. That reminds you of the rhombus and the, each angle is 90 degrees. You can also compare the square to a rhombus. It's identical to a rhombus, except that the angles are 90 degrees. So your rectangle is identical to the parallelogram with the angles being 90 and your square is identical to a rhombus with the angles being 90 degrees. So those are your properties of your quadrilaterals. You need to know these properties. Next, we're going to look at two different shapes that is not based on a parallelogram. These two quadrilaterals, one is a kite. With a kite, both pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So there's your adjacent sides. These two are adjacent sides. They're next to each other. These are opposite sides. In a square, this is an opposite side. So note the adjacent sides. And then these two are also equal. These are the adjacent sides here. They lie next to each other. So adjacent sides are equal and the opposite angles are equal. There's the opposite angle, that angle, and that angle. They're equal. So that's your kite. 
It's in the shape of a height. And properties of a trapezium, just one pair of opposite sides parallel, nothing else. When you see one pair of opposite sides parallel, that's a trapezium. Okay, these are your quadrilaterals. Now what you need to do for application one is going to be identifying the shapes. So the question one says, write down the missing words from each of the sentences. A quadrilateral is a shape with dash sides. So you can write down your statement and complete it. So you'll complete the statements here. Okay, the first example is with four sides. So you work with this. In question two, in app application one, you write down the type of quadrilateral for each of the following. To do that, you look at the property that's given and which quadrilateral fits into this property. Remember, all the properties are not given. Some of the properties are given. Because the quadrilateral, uh, sorry, the special quadrilaterals have more than one property. For example, a square has opposite sides equal, opposite sides parallel. Sorry, in a square, all four sides are equal. The opposite sides are equal, but all four sides are equal. It has opposite sides parallel and angles of 90 degrees. So you need to see which of this may or may not fit with a square. Then you look at your trapezium, you look at your parallelogram, and you figure out which quadrilateral best describes is best described by one of these diagrams. Right? So they will fall into one of the quadrilaterals explained above. You'll complete question one and question two.